the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Welcome, welcome back, Star Trek League Commanders. Look, today I want to hit a couple of different topics, and I also want to apologize for today's video being a little bit late. For those who have asked, my wife's doctor's appointment this morning went quite well. Uh, for those that aren't aware, she had surgery a couple months ago, had a follow-up. Uh, it's a couple hours away, so I didn't get back to the office and doing all this for, I think, till like two or three hours ago, so apologies. Things coming out late, but that went well, so thank you for all the love, thoughts, prayers, etc. that y'all reach out with. I want to talk about Chaos Tech and also new updates to the weekly events and some updates to the previous events we have, and I'll cover that in the second half of the video. Today, let's talk about this first. So, the Chaos Tech is meant to be an improvement over Forbidden Technology in a couple ways. Way number one is if you go to upgrade one of these bad boys, there's no chance of failure, which if you have dealt with the FTs, the forbidden technologies, well, that's probably something many of you have noticed and probably got annoyed with. For example, here's my 5.1%. It's quite painful, but chaos techs don't have that. Now, the reason I'm wanting to cover some of these chaos techs is there is a free to play path that was released here, December 2024, that is available for players who can fight these new hostiles and i want to go over a brief coverage of that because I, I don't want to get missed when good things like that get added in it's very easy to miss it when there's all these other things the game is trying to direct your attention to so if you go to the continuum tab you will notice the revenant stuff of course but you should also notice the ss revenant chaos tech shard exchange now this exchange is there whether you have the revenant yet or not but increasing the revenants tier will make the well, make the payouts better. Now, here's what's in it so far. The Thought Maker, the Electromagnetic Loot, Q Cannon, and the Temporal Conduit. So, two Epics, one Rare, and one Common. I'm going to do my pull here. Now, if you pay attention, we are using the Chaos Modules, which is what we grind from the Q Continuum Hostiles. And there is a technical chance for a full pull. I didn't get that. I got Chaos Fragments, one Temporal Conduit, and three Thought Maker, which, honestly, I'm not upset with that's fine so let's first acknowledge and you know speak where do we actually get these well really simple it's where the q continuum hostiles are many of you will probably be familiar with this as this is where a lot of the events these past couple months have centered around we're going after these new hostile types as well as if you have picked up the new ship the ss revenant well this is where it sends you to go after those new armadas the polygon armada which is the group armada and then the new solo armadas that you have to fight to get the loot for that. Now, well, I did a video on that yesterday, so don't feel like you have to like know all that. I get it, it's 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 a lot. So I have a full video for those trying to cover the Revenant. Don't feel like you have to have everything here in one video. It's actually, I can't even do everything in one video, but if you missed it, it's this video right here. Literally, it's yesterday. I can even tag it at the end of this video so that you can have it for yourself. But let's talk about Chaos Tech again. You're wanting to go into the systems. This is the Q Continuum or L Orion systems so that you can fight these hostiles to get this currency, the Chaos Modules. Do want to remind you and point out that you get more from the loot box that will drop from these than what you're going to get from the actual hostile. Then you still want to hit the hostile and crewing can be varied based on where you're at. Remember, these have very unique abilities. Just want to remind y'all that. I did do a video about crewing against these hostiles. Remember that each type has different abilities, so you might want to be prepared for those in the future or just go out and spam them. See, I got 100 in that hit, and then I'll have a box that will drop more that we can pull here for inbox real quick. Now, I'm going to hop back over to the Chaos Text to talk about the ones that are available from this loop. As soon as I hit this flame chest, you see I got 100 from doing it and then 400 from the box. The boxes are how you get your loot, just similar to the mirror loop. But let's talk about the Chaos Text themselves. Now, hopefully, more and more of these will become available free to play. The ones that we're seeing source right now are things like the Q Cannon, big PvP item, the Temporal Conduit, and then we also have the Thought Maker, which you saw I was going for, which is a common, is nice to see common things back in the game, which is a PvE Apex Barrier and Resource Loot Booster. The neat thing about Chaos Techs is if you unlock these, you can put these on your ship with an FT. So let's just take, for example... I have the Voyager here. Well, the Voyager, a lot of people have the Borg alcove on it, but that also means I have room for a Chaos Tech if I wanted to, say, throw the Electromagnetic Loot on there, which you got from the Battle Pass, if you purchased the Battle Pass in November. And this allows me to get better versus the Texas Hostile. So 
can actually throw that on a ship that you want to level up, allowing it to hit the higher level Texas hostiles without being a monomy. But in terms of what you're able to go after, something like the Temporal Conduit can be valuable. Again, this one is for fighting armadas and hostiles. You can hit the button here to see what that does, but it also has Apex Barrier. Now, for those asking about Apex Barrier, I am going to be making a video going through the math of Apex Barrier. More and more people are asking, and now that more and more people are having access to it, I will have a video for Apex Barrier for those still curious on how it works. I know most of you know the basics of how it works. It's a secondary shield system to a degree. We'll actually show what that translates to in some battle logs and explain that. But you get more of it when fighting Zindi Reptiles or Zindi Aquatics with this. But I do like the first ability when fighting Hostiles or Armadas. Start of each round has a chance to apply Hull Breach. That can be unique and nice for you. And you don't necessarily have to rely on the two abilities for Zindi. Most of you probably don't need to. But it is, again, free to play that we have some of these Chaos Texts coming in. Now, I do want to just fully acknowledge it's not all of them however it is nice to start getting some and hopefully more will become available including one that was paywalled two that were actually paywalled last month already having your free-to-play path even if it takes time it is nice to see these things coming into a path at a quicker rate so be cognizant of that now you know how to grind them now you know what they're for it will take free-to-play time to unlock them of course however it's still good to know where they're at just like when it comes to unlocking free primes it's nice for us to get things that were previously behind a paywall that now we can go after for free anyway now let's go over to the other part a real quick kind of news that i wanted to hit number one the weekly events now for those that don't know there's a new set of weekly events now this does not mean that old weekly events no longer happen so as you can see things like swarm sunday are still up there but keep an eye that's going to be slightly changing for some players but you also see new things uh, you saw the voyager uh, friday you see the cube thursday and I would argue that these are pretty good events. I think that they are pretty solid. I, of course, am very open to your feedback. If you happen to play these and say they're not very good, well, I want to know why. And if you think any of these events need adjustment, well, let's talk about it. Let me take this off the screen real quick just to show you the Voyager one, for example. It is going to pay out, I think, a decent amount. I've looked at various ops levels for things like mats and resources, but also a very slow drip of Kath and Janeway. Would have been nice if there was more shards than just one. But still, this also helps it go to, you know, your meta and Janeway Shard. So yay, meta. So you have these new event structures coming out. Also want to point out for those who are going after the meta, which is an officer recruit mechanic, I want to point out the number of events that you need to complete. There's a percentage. So you don't need to complete 100% of daily, weekly, etc. to be going after things like this. What you need is to do 70% of them. So if there are particular events that you feel are not good for you or you do not feel have value, you can skip some of them and then just plan on doing some of the others. And these are the rotating mini events. Now, all of these and the calendars that we use are in my Discord. If you have not joined already, you can request to get all this. Even if you're not on the Discord, just ask and I will shoot them to you. This particular one was made by a player named Tarpitude. The main calendar that we put out is made by a player named Viper. Shout out to all those who will put some of this stuff together. Other big piece of news that I want to hit is just been announced. Cosmic Cleanup getting an update. Some of the feedback that we've been pushing getting heard. Big thank you to Scopely for that. Where you see new ships getting added in to Cosmic Cleanup. I think that's a good thing. Some of you might not need that. But speeding up ship acquisition for our lower and mid-level players with things like the Defiant and the Meridian. Very important. That's a level 25 ship and a level 35 ship ship you're also seeing the sarcophagus getting a little bit of a boost eh, man, 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 whatever new parts added to the battle claim look forward to that here on saturday form sunday's getting an update especially for ops 45 plus which we've been talking about a lot of players no longer doing that event well now there's gonna be a reason to consider doing that again with updated updated metrics updated resources updated materials and finally last but not least mighty monday getting another update got one last year getting another this year and now Rev's going to have to stop saying Mining Monday is you know, silly or superfluous or whatever word he decides to choose. Because they're updating all the events. Now, I do want to make a point known. I'm not saying all the event updates that we've had have been great. Some of the events we feel are imbalanced and need tweaking. Absolutely. But it is nice to see all of these things being addressed because these have all been raised. Warm Sunday's definitely been raised by players. Daily events have definitely been raised. Weekly, monthlies, you know, Cosmic Cleanup, more things for Voyager, Cube, etc., nice to see those getting addressed now we just got to make sure that they tweak them in a way that we enjoy all of them right so those are the newses 
Those are the chaos texts. Those are all the things I have for you here on a Friday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or need any help, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for their space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek League of Man video. As always, I love and appreciate y'all more than I can properly express. But thank you. And see you on the next one. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.